Marlon Marais, yo, when I tell you this man is a beast, that was a good main event right there. That was a good um, night of fights, but I think it's so funny the way Marlon smacked this man because he really hit him with a hard right hand to the chin. And then when, you know, Rafael did the classic Diddy Bop, he didn't even like do a combo. He, he hit him with the same right hand. Like, Rafael, you gonna let him hit you with the same right hand? Smack that man, made him drop, and got on top, yo. Really not much to say, once he, cause this is all in the first round, so once he got him to the ground, there was a scramble, and Marlon was able to sink in a really nice guillotine. He got it from the bottom, but he was able to like uh, reverse it and get it to the top, and the squeeze was just too much, and Rafael just, is tapped uh i think the real the real story of it was that call out because we all know what happened we all know what happened to freaking tj dillashaw when he fought henry cejudo marlon started talking spicy he said tj i don't even know if you deserve to scrap with me after that performance like he's like you wanna go bully the little guys? You go ahead. You know, you know, he said, you wanna go um fight with little boys. I was like, damn, not only did he disrespect TJ, he disrespect the whole flyweight division. And I was like, alright, Marlon, talk your talk your stuff. I um I I mean I think that cemented, you know, Marlon getting the title shot. He definitely uh smoked Rafael, which is the only person to beat him in the UFC so far, so yeah, I think he deserves a title shot if the Henry Cejudo and T.J. Dillashaw isn't, rematch isn't immediate, but I think it will be. <sighs> Sorry. If I, and I think, um, if they do the T.J. Dillashaw and Henry Cejudo, I think Marlon should wait because that was a great performance. He's beaten none but top contenders and he got his, his one loss back, so in spectacular fashion in brazil again he smacked that man with the right hand twice made him drop like i feel how you let the same right hand hit you that was great i also want to talk about my boy jose aldo he still got it like i mean he's still kind of young in terms of like age but i guess in fight wise like he has been doing it for a long time so i can see why he wants to retire but when i tell you he smoked that young man he not told more didn't know what hit him with them hooks yo and the body shots yo jose was really like letting it like just letting it go it was it was a good fight because i feel like uh more was like using his reach really well it looked like uh, jose was having trouble getting in at first uh i see it looked like some of the light kicks were missing so i thought oh you know maybe morikano was going to be able to keep the distance and maybe pick him off and finish him off later rounds but jose said nah came in hit him with a i think it was a right yo once he saw morikano just a little dizzy swarmed him it's Hooks, hooks, body shot, body shot, hook, hook in the face, hook in the face, body shot, body shot, body shot. And he just he just swarmed him and he didn't know what to do. And the referee just alright, that's enough. Should they have let him fall to the ground? I think so, because you never know, maybe he wasn't, but and like Morikano was really protesting all that hard. I think he was hurt. I think he was alright, he got it. Jose still a still a monster, so great performance by Jose. Uh he might be fighting uh anthony pettis or brian ortega i kind of want to see him fight brian ortega if i'm being honest i think that'd be a cool fight but then again ortega this you know despite the title shot he, he, he's kind of on fire i don't want to see jose lose i kind of want to see him just win his next like two fights and then retire but you know we'll see but if he does fight Anthony Pettis, that'll be a really good fight too. I think he or he'll be Anthony. As much as I like Anthony Pettis, I think Jose has the skills to be Anthony Pettis. But you never know. You never know. 
Damian Maya, he, he, he human backpack lineman good. There really wasn't much to say to that. He, he took him down and choked him out pretty, pretty naked. Um, so that was that. You know, Damian Maya still, you know, doing his thing. Now, the last guy I want to talk about is Johnny Walker versus Justin Ledet. Yo, my son came through dancing, like really dancing, just having a good old time. I'm like, all right, this man, look, this man is tall as hell. He moving like that. He, he freaking, they show highlights of him flipping and shit. I'm like, all right, cool. That fight starts, yo, he, oh my god, he hit that man with a spin, oh my god, Justin dropped, he's like, oh, alright, freaking rolled to his back, I think he's already finished at that point, to be real with you, and now, like the he announced, like Bisbing said, um, he got really lucky, because, Jimmy was, uh, Jimmy, Johnny was about to freaking land a hell of an illegal kick to the face. I'm talking about old pride soccer kick to the face. Like, I was like, yo, he was so lucky. Like, he came through with that kick. And I'm like, what is about to happen here? And it missed. And he just, you know, he was able to, like, get the punches and just finish him off. And then... You know, another great win for Johnny Walker, but it could have easily been disqualification. With that said, he's with that said. With that said, he's definitely a, a prospect um, for the light heavyweight division. Tall, lanky, and goes for the finish. So I'm looking forward to him. But that's about it for this one. Uh, I'm gonna catch you guys in the next one. Yeah, I mean, this is a good card. It's a good card. So. I'm looking now. I'm looking forward to Robert Whitaker versus Kevin Kelvin Gaslam. That that's going to be good. Adias Adesanya versus Anderson Silva. Woo! I thought Adesanya was going to smoke. I'm not going to lie, but you never know, son. And still, my turn back the clock. Uh, like, share, and subscribe. I'll catch you guys in the next one.